Hello! Here I'd like to introduce our wonderful multifunction cable tester NF8601 to you. This device is a big breakthrough in the cabling field, not only with different appearance but also with amazing functions. It has 2.8 inch color screen and with three parts the emitter, amplifier probe, and the remote. There are five main functions such as cable chasing, check cable continuity, measure cable lengths, PoE, and pin testing. This item also has TF card to store and export data to computer. Besides, the amplifier probe can also be used to detect AC voltage, identify money. Then, let's enter cable continuity testing. There are two working models, locally testing and remote testing. Here I'd like to demonstrate remote testing with LAN tester. Let's insert one end of the cable into main RJ45 port. The other end to the remote RJ45 port. Open the tester. Here we choose well mapping function from the menu and Kate 5. Start testing. As the result shows on the screen 1 to 1 until G to G, there is a remote in the top corner. This is means the cable is a good shared network cable. Now let's operate a locally testing. Insert the other end to the scan RJ45 port. Then test again. The result shows 1 to 1 until G to G. There is a local in the top corner. This is a good shared network cable. Next, let me show you how to measure cable length for coaxial cable. Let's connect one end of cable into BNC port. And the other end disconnects. Here we choose the length from the menu. And we need to choose the cable type, BNC cable. The unit is meter. And here we choose lens from the menu. Start testing. The result shows us this cable is 20.4 meters. The accuracy for this device can be up to 99%. But if the error is a little large, we can use calibration function firstly, then to measure cable lens again. Here let me show you how to calibrate. We go back and choose the calibration function. Here we adjust the length to 20 meters. We save the data to calibration 4. And we need to load the data. And we go back and test the lens again. The result shows us the cable is 19.9 meters. The result is more accurate. Here I will demonstrate the pin function. Connect the LAN cable with PoE and pin port.
and another end to the switch. Here we choose PIN on the main menu. Before starting PIN, we have to set up the configure firstly. We can let the device search the IP address automatically or we can set up the IP address manually. Here we will use the device to search the IP address automatically. We got the local IP is 1921680. And since the first three parts of IP address of local IP and default router should be the same as the switch IP. Here we should adjust them to make sure they are keeping same. The destination IP is the same as the local IP. So we can now start pin testing. The result shows us the packet data sent 4, received 4, lost 0. It means the LAN cable is workable for internet. Then let's come to PoE port. Connect one end of the cable into the PoE and pin port. And another end is connected to the PoE switch. Here, we choose PoE from the menu. The result shows pin 4 and pin 5 provide 50 voltage. So this is the voltage of this network cable. I'd like to show how to trace telephone cable, which is connect to the switch. First, insert one end of the telephone cable into the RJ11 port of the emitter. Then, we choose the scan from the menu. There is scanning shows on the screen. Turn on the amplifier probe and press the set button to scan mode. In this mode, you can see the scan indicator turns right. Now, hold the amplifier probe to trace the far end cables on the switch. When we close to the switch, we cannot hear any voice. Then, we come to another switch. Still no voice sends out. That means the target cable not connect on it. Then we move the amplifier probe to the another switch. Let's adjust the sensitivity degree and choose the tap. Close the telephone cable one by one. At that time, you hear a clear and clean voice. Besides, the scan indicator turns purple. Now, let's unplug this cable. And touch the other cables again. There is no voice sent out. So, we can finally confirm this cable is the target one. Here, I'd like to show how to hunt electric cable trend in the wall or underground. The detecting range can be up to 30 cm adjustable when cable hunting. Users can hunt the cable location trend and track the breakpoint. 
Here I'd like to show how to scan electric cable behind a 15 cm wall. Firstly, use the clip and insert it to the RJ11 port. Then, clamp the electric wire accordingly. Here we choose the scan from the menu. Then, use the amplifier probe to locate the cable along the wall. We can hear a continuous tone. If beyond the range, we cannot hear any voice. This, this is the way to locate the cable location in the wall. There are three models for this series. NF8601, NF8601A, and NF8601W. NF8601 